Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming again to Mary's Little House and sharing a, a visit uh, here on YouTube. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to talk about the cross. It's the sign that, that we were signed with at baptism on our forehead by the priest and or the deacon or, or by uh, and, and by the parents and mom and dad and, and the godparents, the sponsors. Uh, it's it's a, a, a symbol of, of our faith. It's, a, it's the sign of, of Jesus' ultimate gift of himself uh, upon the cross for for our salvation, that we may be happy now, hello now, and forever in heaven. And the cross is our joy too. O, o cruxa ve spes unica, we sang in the liturgy in Holy Week. O, o crux, o hail cross, our only hope. A little, uh, this little Indian girl, uh, 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 Blessed Kateri Tekawitha, loved the cross. Uh, she 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 would go out in the forest and um, and 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 it, and and, and uh, adore the cross, adore uh, uh, in in the uh, trunk of a tree, uh, carved in a trunk of a tree, of a tree. And after she had died, she appeared to her her aunt and said, uh, holding the cross, say, "Oh, auntie, love the cross. It was my greatest uh, consolation when I was alive." Well. And you think, oh no, well, how's that the cross? Uh, uh, I'm all for the resurrection and everything. Yes, that, I'm all for it too. And that's our ultimate hope. I mean, we don't have nothing to worry about. Jesus rose from the dead. Evil is lost already. We're just sharing in that, uh, that his triumph uh, uh, here on earth. And we will be happy with him forever in heaven. We know death they don't have the last word. But it is our joy because when we are in love, we are the happiest. We're made to the image and likeness of God, and God is love. And the way we uh, find our happiness uh, is by loving. That's the only way. If we turn in ourselves and become self-absorbed, we're miserable, and life is a big bore. But, we, but, but it's really exciting when we love, when we go out there and really check and really care about the people that God gives us to love. And it's a symbol of the cross that inspires us. Here, I, sh I got this cross here. This was Cindy's cross. And uh, anyway, I told Jesus, hey, it's vacant now. You don't need it anymore. You died once and for all. Yes, we renew your celebrate your, your, your Calvary unbloodily on, uh, uh, at Mass. But, but you don't need the cross for that. You're in heaven at the Father's right hand offering your wounds yourself constantly to the Father for our salvation. You continue that love that doesn't stop on Calvary uh, uh, in heaven, and you make it present in the Mass. But anyway, this is Cindy's cross. And w when she died, we, this is her crucifix. She died, uh, when she died, we used it for, uh, for uh, her, her casket. So this is very special. I got it written down here, so when I die, they'll they'll know it's 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 hers that we use at the casket but the cross is so important for us it, it's it's the secret to our happiness to our f human fulfillment because w when we follow jesus when he says deny your very self all that selfish stuff take up your cross and follow me daily it, it's what an invitation because we're, we're leaving all that heavy stuff, all that boring stuff, all the self-absorbed stuff, and following Jesus, and becoming humble servants of the Lord, uh, and, and humble servants of others. And that's what the cross stands for. I can't tell you, even the greatest pain or the greatest stress, it's our consolation. But puts meaning in everything, all our, our tears, all our sadness, all our pains. So look to the crucifix, the crucifix. It is, it is, it'll show us what the meaning of life is to love and love without counting, love unconditionally, love with great mercy and compassion, love that gives ourselves in love uh, to, to, to the Father doing his holy will. That's how we love the Father as Jesus taught us. He came to do the will of the Father, not his own, and to give ourselves because we're doing the Father's will, being like the Father, looking like the Father, He was love. We love others with that 
love that is generous and joyful and and uh, and in, uh, indomitable, uh, uh, irrepressible. Uh, no matter how bad things get or how bad things look. God bless you now. Uh, have a wonderful Sunday. Bye-bye.